Are you PCSing to San Diego this year in 2023? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly of everything you need to know when you're PCSing to San Diego. I'm even going to talk about my own personal experience, a lot of the things I regretted and not really experiencing in this city, and also some of the decisions I just made over the long term once I was actually here established in my unit. So stay to the very end of the video, and you're going to hear everything I wish I did before I PCSed here. Let's go. What's up, baby? Well, my name is Cameron Hodge. On this channel, I talk about everything you need to know when it comes to PCSing to and from San Diego, California, and everything in between. Dropping videos for you every single week. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like icon, and little bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. Also, obviously, fellow veteran, but a real estate agent here in San Diego, helping men and women like yourself PCS to and from San Diego. And like I said, even whether it's investing, living here, moving here, trying to figure things out. I'm here to help you along that process. The number coming up below so you can call, text, email me and the team. Or if you want to jump the line, you can go ahead and schedule that Zoom call down in the description below to kind of help you in that process of moving to and from San Diego. Now, getting into it, I know there are so many of you that are coming in PCS into San Diego this year. In this video, I wanted to go through over every single thing about what's going on in San Diego, what you need to think about before you PCS here, how is it different than other duty stations, and just all of this information that you need to know when it comes to PCSing to this city. Now, I, there's been so many that I think this is your first time coming around. I don't know why. There's a huge influx. Some years, it seems like people, there's a huge rotation of people who are just like, you know, they've already been to San Diego before. They're like, yeah, I've been in Coronado or 32nd Street, Miramar, Pendleton. Like, it just seems like there's always a huge influx. But lately, it's just been a lot of first timers, not even like first enlistment. Like, some of you are on your second enlistment, third enlistment. It's the first time you're coming to San Diego. I just had a call with a captain. Uh, recently and next year hopefully he can, he can get san diego this is gonna be his first time here right like it's crazy um i got lucky when i got first got in the marine corps they were like hey you're going to you're going to miramar and i'm like sounds good to me and honestly a lot of better places i would i'd prefer this a lot more than south carolina and i had a great time once i got stationed here but when you're getting ready to pcs to san diego it's a lot of things to think about so if this is your first time and you're someone who's just living in the barracks no family hey stick along for the ride in the video right you're just you're just along for the ride at this point and so there's some of you who have already been there you already know what i'm talking about like you're gonna be hopping barracks rooms going through all that fun stuff but hey you know stick along for the ride for the rest of the video for those of you who are obviously who are living out in town or you have the option of living out in town you have bah with you it's just you by yourself i'm looking at you navy guys that are e4 you know the marines and us hey until we hit staff or we have a family like we're stuck on base yeah <laughs> now Coming to San Diego, I think a lot of service members are just are so caught up in the fact that like, you know, they know they're coming into beautiful weather. And is it really beautiful? Yeah, absolutely. The weather in San Diego is going to blow you away. If you're not used to growing up in the West Coast, like I, like I grew up in a small town in, in Western New York. And when I came here, it was crazy to me that you could make plans like out in town, like hiking or something. And put them almost no matter what the weather's not going to ruin your trip or whatever you're trying to do. It's crazy. Now, during the winter, sure, we get rain. But you're going to know beforehand by looking at the weather and you're like, yeah, we're going to get rain that day. It's crazy. Like your worst day most times of the year is going to be a cloudy day. And even then, it's usually just the marine layer in the morning and it's gone by noon. And then you got sunny weather the rest of the day. Some days, sure, we have there's rain, but then you also have like Santa Ana winds that'll pick up. Wildfires are an issue out here. Um, I, if you have been in the military long enough or even just watch the news, you're going to know that you've probably seen like, I think it was when I first got stationed out here or right before I got stationed out here. And it was 2000, beginning of 2014 when a wildfire was so large, it was burning base housing on Camp Pendleton. It's crazy. It exists. It happens. So that is a risk of living out here. Now, those of you who are in Coronado or 32nd Street, you're probably not going to have to worry about this unless you're buying or renting a house out in the boons, right? But wildfires are a thing out here. So it is something in a way of life to be careful. Just because you're in the military does not mean you're immune to that risk. It's a risk. You have to get used to it. And something obviously that is will always be on top of your mind, especially if you're living on Pendleton or just around those areas, because it, it does get to you from time to time. And every year there are wildfires. There's not like it's not like hurricanes where some years like you might be OK. No, like you will have some kind of wildfires every year. What's even a fortunate is a lot of times it's man made. It's people being dumb creating these wildfires, which is unfortunate. Now, 
San Diego, I think the next thing that hits people is like, is the wet weather true? Yep. The next thing I always ha seem to have conversation with and, you know, going into more of the good stuff is, you know, is there really a lot to do here? Yeah, it's San Diego. There's so much to do. Heck, if you're even willing to drive an hour and a half north, you got Disneyland, right? But even here in San Diego, you got SeaWorld, Legoland, right? Like there's just so much to do. Heck, you can even have like, it's called Freedom Boat Charters. I wish I knew about this. You pay like a car payment every month, so it's not cheap. So those of you that need to watch your budget, I think most of us that were in the military or are in the military, but like, you know, let's put that with some buddies. Come on now, you know? But it's if you have to take boats out as much as you want and things like that. There's a lot to do. Some of it involving money, but I'll be honest with you, there's a lot to do that don't involve money. Like there are thousands of hiking trails here in San Diego. If you like to bike, there's a lot of biking places. Heck, even if you have a motorcycle, there are plenty of places like Palomar Mountain, right? In North County. Like there are so many places you can go to that are just amazing for you to get out that aren't going to cost you anything. Maybe some gas right there's a lot of nature preserves i used to love to take my kids up into like in fallbrook they have like a bunch of nature preserves and things like that they're enclosed so i just let the, the i can let my boys run wild a lot of things to do in san diego it's one of the good things i did love about well still living here but being stationed in san diego is that there's so much to do and i didn't fully appreciate it when before i had a family to be honest with you and then my wife was born and raised here and when I finally met her and you get to start experiencing things like, wow, there actually is a lot to do here. You know, when you're in the barracks, you're so close minded. You just in the military, you know, we all know you're working like crazy. I worked in the air wing. So 12 on 12 offs are quite common working weekends on top of duty and all that craziness. Like you just don't get to fully appreciate the city. Also, if you love surfing, hey, surfing's big here. You're in California. So now you can do that all the time. Enjoy surfing when you're in your time off. The beaches are here and all of that. So there's so much to do here. That's one of the great things about being stationed here is you get the ability to just get out there, explore. And you know, I'll tie into that. That's one of the things I regretted when I got stationed here is I, I didn't fully get to experience all the great things that are in this city. I mean, even if you are willing to kind of spend a little bit of money, like obviously San Diego is like any California, any major city. If you're willing to spend a little bit of money, treat the spouse to something nice. Like there are a lot of great restaurants. There are a lot of things that you can do with money. There's also a lot you can do without it, right? A lot of harbors, festivals, things like that. Like you, you don't have to spend tons of money. Everyone in the military seems to like, especially like if you're single or maybe you're just like dating or whatever, it's just you and your spouse. They love to go to the gas lamp district, which is the downtown of San Diego. It's where all the bars are. And sure, there's a lot of fun to be had. I have definitely spent my nights down there for sure, but it's expensive for no reason i feel like and it's like yeah it's fun but like there's so much more to offer to san diego than just doing those things not to mention fourth of july they have a huge fireworks display in the bay a lot to do in san diego and that's one of the things i regretted was like focus on some of the boring things and not so much on like all the other things that san diego has to offer that don't involve thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars for a dinner and all this stupid stuff that people think you have to do in san diego is a lot more to offer than just that now that's pretty pretty sums up the good stuff right it's a lot to do the weather's beautiful i mean it's just amazing right what's some of the bad things well the bad things obviously is the fact that obviously if you're pcsing here in 2023 cost is a huge thing it was already expensive in california things are just absolutely worse and i can't tell you how many how many men and women i'm sitting down with who are pcsing this even this year every year unfortunately but to san diego and they're like i don't know if i want to buy or rent or I, I don't know what to do and this is a common conversation i have and look it's one of the bad things about san diego it's expensive i mean i've had news articles that show that san diego is even more expensive than san francisco because the gap the cost of living compared to the wages and stuff like that it's a huge gap and a lot of people are hinged on the Mac. They're like, say, so you're a spouse and you don't work because you're watching the kids and stuff like that. You might be in a position where you have to figure something out to get that second form of income. One thing I tell everyone when they move here is, look, like if you're the, if only one of you is, is obviously in the military, you're getting VAH, you're getting, you know, your main allowance and all that. The thing is, is that I don't care if you live on base, they're taking all of it. And I don't know about you, I don't like living, well, I don't like living on base. One, just because like, why would I wanna be stuck around military people all day just to go home to be stuck around more military, right? Sure, you're close to work and things like that, but that also means that they know you're close to work and they can just call you whenever they want. Uh, renting, 
whether you're renting or purchase, it's gone crazy the last couple of years, like everywhere in the country, right? And you're put in a position where you're probably gonna have to dip. Now you're gonna use all your BAH and you're gonna dip into your main pay no matter what. I, look, it's you're hard pressed not to. Sure, if you got BAH and it's just you by yourself, go rent a room. Sure, the, 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 the exceptions to the rule do exist. But the reality for many of you that are gonna be state PCSing here this year, you already got orders, you are on the way is you're going to have a hard reality to hit is that the people are like, well, it's, it's too expensive to purchase. Why would I want to do that? I'm going to rent. You're still going to be giving up that same amount of money every month, paying and benefiting someone else, right? And that's the unfortunate thing with it. And even base housing, I mean, it fluctuates throughout the year, but the end of even 2022, I mean, the Navy base housing was almost at 98% capacity. Like it gets booked. And I had a situation at the end of last year where it's like his, you know, I had a service member, his wife wasn't even here yet. Like she was still back home in a different state and he's living in the ship right on 32nd street and it's like oh, holy cow like what is going on here he's like well we applied for base housing and they told us it was gonna be like a five month wait you know at best they'll start they could get us in at three months if something came available but we got like a five month wait it's crazy and i'm like we sat down running the numbers and you know they they figured it out they're like wow you know what i think it makes more sense for us to purchase Sure, it was just a condo, but it was just the two of them. They're they're young, they're starting out. And now we got a situation where they got condos that not only allowed their big dogs, now they get to honestly build wealth in San Diego. They're on a four-year contract. And instead of having to wait five months, within 60 days, boom, they're in a house. They got their own place. His wife's here. They get to move on, build wealth. And when he goes on deployment, they have options. Do you want to rent a room out? Do you want to rent the whole place out while she goes while she goes back home while he's on deployment? Um, the condo is nearby to college where she, she can continue to go to school. Like all these options now open up, right? And that's the situation you're going to find yourself in. That's it's kind of a, included as a bad thing because it's, it's a hard conversation. And that's why I'd love to do what I do because I've been there. I've done that. I've had these conversations. I've gone through like the, oh, we want to buy a home. And we start looking at mobile homes. We start trying to figure out all these crazy solutions. And like, look, the fact of the matter is, no crazy solution is going to save you from the high cost of living here in San Diego. Gas right now, I mean, even like Costco gas is the best you're going to find. It's around still like four ten a gallon, right? It's insane. It's gross to be honest with you. And like every year, California loves to add more taxes. So you got, I mean, if you're like me and you like guns, hey, yeah, you know, stay in friendly with it. But you also have to deal with like they're trying to add a mile tax. You know, all electric cars by 2035 that are brand new, like. This state loves its regulations. It, oh my God. Like, if you have a lot, my, my, my Toyota Sienna that we have for our kids, our family vehicle, we spend like 450 bucks a year in registration. Not to mention, if you want to register a vehicle here, I employ you to consider just leaving your stuff in a different state. Because if you do just make yourself here, you're licensing all your stuff, like, man, those fees are going to kill you. Not to mention, if your vehicle is so, so many years old, you got to have smog inspections every year. Like, it is just insane the level of cost and fees the state loves to impose on you. Not to mention their taxes are high as well. So you really gotta be careful about what you get yourself into financially before you get here. And it's a conversation you're gonna have to have. It's, it's the biggest bad thing. Personally, it's even an ugly thing. Like it is just one of those things you have to get through. But I will implore you that don't be so negative about the cost of San Diego because I went through this as well. I never thought I would see any bright side to, to living in California and all that stuff. Sure, I stayed here for my wife, kids and her family you know my family is small didn't really exist S san diego out of all the places i've lived in california i've been in, you know i've been in fresno with you know uh lamore i've been you know traveled to la all those places in california san diego is one of the best if, if that can be said and believe it or not even if you hate it a lot of service members come here and when they get out of the military they either come back here or they stay here just the truth now there are ways to beat the cost of living if you are pcsing this year so here's the thing, yeah, a lot of service members are getting way more intelligent to saving money. I, I freaking love it, it just excites me because like it, it's just something that needs to happen. Like so many are just either bad with money or you're trying to get out of it. But like I, I see so many so many of you that are PCSing to San Diego getting active about how to save money and I love it. I know I'm rambling on the, I'm not really rambling, I know I'm going far in this part because it is such an important thing to know if you're getting stationed to San Diego. Look. And this is also I'm going to tie into my personal story and how I just made a huge mistake 
when I got out here and like when I got out of the military after my five years, we hit 80 grand in debt after that first year of getting out. And that's all tied to like poor decisions in San Diego. Look, this city, it might be expensive, but if you do make the right smart decisions and get the right guidance, you can be astronomically ahead of your peers. And I really truly believe in that. San Diego and California, everyone looks down on it. Everyone tries to avoid buying homes here. Look, if you know you're gonna be in San Diego over three years, and it could be less, but if you're just a normal person, you're not looking to rent out the home, you just wanna live in it and then sell it when you leave. If you're gonna be here longer than three years, preferably at least four plus, you, San Diego always does well. San Diego is an appreciation city. Even the real estate goes up, it goes down. If you have that length of time, you're probably gonna be okay. A lot of things that factor into that though, you have to buy the right neighborhood, the area. Not to mention you need to make sure you get into an area that actually makes sense for where you're driving, where you're stationed, right? But it does treat you well. There are ways to save money in San Diego. I will tell you that if your spouse is looking for jobs, a lot of high paying jobs in San Diego. It's just a, a lot of, and a lot of them can also allow you to work from home. So if you're in that situation, you know, realize that there are a lot of opportunities for spouses. There's a lot of resources on base for spouses to get income. There's a lot of cool things that go on. Heck, you can even go to Big Bear, which is like a couple hours north in the mountains. And uh, the Miramar Inn actually owns some cabins up there that you can rent if you do have the time, of course, to go up there and rent them. But there are a lot of cool things that San Diego will allow you to do. And I always employ you that there are ways to save money. Last year, I've gotten veterans, um, even if they're not married, um, they can join together with your VA loan. If you don't know this, you can join together with another veteran on a VA loan and you can buy a multifamily property up to a four unit property. There, that is a way to kind of shave your housing costs. I mean, I've seen uh, veterans that I have recently have gotten into them where they're spending half their BAH. So instead of spending all your BAH and then some to pay for a mortgage, between the two of them, each of them are only spending half their BAH. So they're pretty, for pretty much spending one full BAH stipend, but not over that because the other units are rented and they're buying that down. And that wasn't even like a, a stellar situation. Like it was just a good situation that came out. So there are ways to do that. I'll tell you though, if you're married or you have a spouse, it just gets hard it, it, because you have to, everyone, you both have to be on board. If you have kids, I look, I got a people, a lot of people are not comfortable with that. My wife wasn't comfortable with that. So our first property wasn't even in San Diego. We went to Yuma and bought our first rental property. So I get it, we're all different. So there are a lot of ways to save money in San Diego. When it comes to groceries, if you're PCSing out here, understand that I find groceries to be about the same. There's a lot, if you love the coupon, like my wife did when we were in the military trying to save money, and even now to some extent, groceries, couponing, you can do really well in San Diego to save money on that expense. Thankfully, your, your medical's paid for, so that's great. It's mainly just housing and gas that hit people. So make sure you're start smart about it. If you don't have to have your vehicle registered here, I encourage you to look elsewhere because it, it does get expensive. So that's the sum up of like all the bad things about San Diego that you're gonna run into in PCS into San Diego this year. Now I wanna transition to some of the biggest regrets I have after I got PCS'd out here. And it, it encompasses a lot of different things. So originally when I came out here, I was just a 20 year old dumb kid, right? Now I'm crossing on 30 and I've learned a lot even though short amount of time, right? And I'm gonna deal with a couple different perspectives here. So when I first got stationed here in 2014 uh, with 225, now they're F-35s and Yuma, but at that time they were F-18s and I got stationed in Miramar. I didn't explore enough. Uh, I mean, I was a video game junkie, like I think a lot of us are, but I didn't explore, I didn't hike, I didn't go out and explore the city. I should have done a lot more like on the weekends and things like that. Like I, I wish I would have gotten to explore San Diego. That's one thing I regretted. Another thing I regretted when I had a family is I didn't get to, I didn't go to Legoland and SeaWorld enough. And my wife even lived here, right? We just didn't. Um, I think as a service member, you just get so caught up in what's going on. That's something I regretted when I got PCS out here and had a family, started to have a family. It's just so much to do. Go out and explore it. Like I know time is very limited. It's stressful. I've been there. I, I've gone through it. But I encourage you to go out there and explore the city. The next biggest regret is knowing what I know now about how to spend my money smartly with the military how if you can use your um man you can use your like 401k if you have it if your spouse has one or you can use your tsp you can take money from that tax-free in order to buy a home and things like that i just didn't know a lot of these nuances i mean when i first bought my first home here in san diego we kind of got rushed into it uh we weren't advised about how older homes in san diego need kind of more like inspections like sewer and stuff 
And within like not even like a year owning that property, I mean, I had sewage backing up into my house. I, it was like cast iron piping that was like Swiss cheese. It, it was a disaster. And you really got to make sure you're advised well if you do decide to purchase here in San Diego. I wish I knew about multifamily homes. I wish I knew how I could use rental income to purchase them to help boost my income ability. I, I did know a lot of these things. And even like, I, so I love to get in real estate, but even if you don't want to get involved in real estate, I mean, there are so many ways to make extra money in San Diego. I mean, the one benefit of being such a major city is like, you don't have to take a second job. Like there are a lot of opportunities that probably would like are virtual opportunities or so even a spouse, right? Like I have so many spouses now that do this. I love it. But like, even in like in real estate, right? Like there are, you can be a transaction coordinator making 450 bucks. When someone buys or sells a house, you make 450 bucks just doing paperwork. That can be done from home virtually anywhere. You could do that. You could be a loan officer. Obviously, if you're like me and you have a, have a real estate itch, this is a place that you could really do well without you know, like spend money to get involved. But like, there, there are a lot of ways to make money in San Diego. And while we kind of struggled a little bit in the military, um, obviously deployment money, we always did well. I, we, we were never in debt when we were in, but I didn't prepare it for when I got out. And there are a lot of things I wish I did in this city to get established. Even if you're PCSing somewhere else, you're staying in for 20, you know you're gonna leave or whatever. San Diego is a city that can really treat you well financially if you make the right decision when you come here. And that's one of the things I regretted when I moved here that I didn't do. So that was like one of my biggest regrets is like not financially starting another career because San, San Diego, like there's so many opportunities here for that, that it's something I wish I did or my wife could have started. And I, you just don't know what you don't know. And now having that information, I always encourage those who are like maybe struggling financially in the military, realize there's a lot of opportunity here and you don't necessarily have to sacrifice. There's always some kind of sacrifice, but there's a lot of opportunity to kind of get started and established in that, especially if you know you're not staying in for a full 20, be prepared. And that's one of the things I think I regretted most about being out here. But in all, I know it's a lot of information, but if you're PCSing this year, you know, to San Diego, and even if you're looking to buy and you're not looking to buy, I don't care. Like you, this number popping up below is how you can reach out to me, call, text, email, schedule that Zoom call down below. Let's have a conversation. Like I love having conversation with those of you who are getting stationed out here. I've been through this process. and I love to help you make that transition as seamless as possible. We all know that <laughs> PCS in the military is just chaos. It's always a disaster no matter what. Like things get lost. You're, <laughs> they like delay your shipment, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, if you need help, reach out. Love to have that conversation. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.